hello 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 beautiful people what is up it's been a while and uh yeah i don't really have an excuse i've just been working on other stuff but i do have kind of a challenge for myself for the end of the year as you know october is around the corner and a couple days ago i created this document and um decided you know what i think this is one way i can at least take one of my new year's goals off of that checklist so Earlier this year, I made a video about KDP, which stands for Kindle Direct Publishing, and how I think is a good way for people to make money online as a side hustle, right? And I still do agree with that because I can see so many people have been successful with it. I myself have not been what I would call successful. I've only made about $16 on the platform but again i only have maybe like 50 bucks up right so i don't have the numbers right so i said you know what let's kind of i was reading a book earlier this year called the 12 week year so i was like, okay let's do a 12 week challenge where i really commit to this whole kdp thing right um mind you i have like a full-time job i don't have a ton of time but i said you know what we're gonna focus on this and really commit so sorry i'm recovering from a cold and my throat was getting sore but anyway so what is my goal for this next 90 days starting october 1st i kind of did a test run this past week and then i was like oh i should actually record this and kind of like track my progress for you guys or for anyone really who knows if anyone's watching this but i think it would be fun so the goal the goal is to publish 90 new KDP books in 12 weeks. So I'm running the 1st of October and I think it'll, the 90 days would end like just before Christmas, right? So a couple things to know is that like for Amazon or for, I guess for like anything in general, the end of the year Q4 is when you have all the big holidays and so people are spending more money. So in theory, I should be able to make money, right? We'll, we'll see how that goes. So my strategy so far is that, okay, so KDP allows you to upload three books a day. So with that in mind, I'm like, okay, if I do this at 90-day challenge, it means potentially I could upload 270 new books. Now, that is very aggressive. I don't think I could legitimately be able to, to do 270 new books of a good quality on my own when I'm working maybe one to two hours after work. You know, I don't think that's really possible. However, I decided, you know what, if I break up the process of creating these books, then I feel like I could possibly get maybe eight books. That's like the the target I need to hit in order to meet the ninety the ninety the ninety book goal. So then I said, okay, well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna Monday I research, Tuesday I create covers, I create my interior, Wednesday I create the covers, Thursday I write a description, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I kind of like work on the uploads, right? Because I'd be able to get it done. Um, what I have noticed this week was kind of like a test run. Um, I did my, my research on the Monday. I created, I think, two books on Tuesday. And then, like, from there, it kind of, I got distracted. I was in, like, oh, what? look at this cover, look at that cover. And then I ended up kind of going in and looking at my previous books I had done. And I ended up revamping a lot of those covers. So there were two books that I was able to get a sale on recently. And I was like, this cover is actually really ugly. So I was like, I redid the cover. And then I'm also running ads. I'm getting ahead of myself. But I kind of got distracted. And I didn't really, I kind of have the manuscript, the interior, for the other books there i just haven't put it together so i do think i could still meet that goal for this week um but um i'll tell you eventually how many books i did upload in this like test run week um but the challenge doesn't start until next monday which is the 28th i think no today's 28th monday is the 30th so i have two days to kind of like get myself together so like I said, I have been, I have heard about KDP in the past and 
I had never really seen any progress, but I like the fact this is a 90 day plan. So it's a shorter time frame, and I can really push myself and hopefully see it and like not new steam. It's still interesting. Um, so I'm hoping that will keep the momentum going because I do get ADHD. I do have ADHD um, and I get distracted very easily. I have like shiny object syndrome. Like it's very difficult for me to stay focused. So I'm hoping that the 90 day time frame is short enough to hold my attention and to really see it through. And then the way that I kind of have it broken down, I think it will keep it a little bit more exciting. Another thing I'm going to be doing differently is running ads because I think that is in this KB have become so competitive. I think that to give myself a little bit of an advantage, I have to try to run ads and be more competitive. So yeah, I'll, I'll leave a link to this document or this page so you guys can see it. Um, but this is where I'm kind of be sharing my updates day to day, I guess. And um, I'll obviously make a video recapping the week or, well, maybe not the week, but maybe the month. I'm not sure how I'll do it. It depends on how much energy I have to do it. But yeah, I'll do that, okay? Um, what else did I want to mention? So yeah, so this past week, I worked on like a test run and I wanted to share uh, what I did. So... Like I said, you need a KDP account. Go to kdp.amazon.com. Go ahead and set up your account. So for me, as someone who lives outside of the U.S. and like a first world country, let's say, um, when you're setting up your KDP, KDP account, you have to actually put in a payment link. And it doesn't allow you to link for my country. So I had at the time to create an account with Wise and I found that they're really good. I have gone paid out from Amazon through this. So I know that it does work. I can say that. So I'll leave a link to Wise in the description. Another thing that I did as well was I had a, a Creative Fabrica account. And this is where like, you get all the clip art. They do also have some like um, KDP tiers as well. But I'm skeptical to use those because... I'm assuming that there are a lot of people using that stuff, right? So anyways, you also have to remember to always edit when you get these files from these third-party sites. Also, I use Affinity Publisher, um, but you can use Canva, Keynote, InDesign, but I'm going to be using Affinity Publisher and their whole suite in designing my books and my graphics and everything. Another thing I also did is create a Pinterest account and I have to sign up for a pin generator account. Um, so I'll have everything linked below. And yeah, pretty much I think that is like the intro video for this challenge. So I think I'm not sure what my schedule is going to be, but hopefully by week one, and if we go on, you'll hear from me again. And I'll kind of like recap how it went, if I've made any sales, what I've done. Um, but I have spent money setting up for this challenge um i did purchase the pin generator account i also got um oh i forgot this i also did this note i also did ideogram which is a new one and mid journey as well so yeah i have spent money but i have no recoup it and see how that works out so yeah we'll see how that goes but um i am um, kind of wary i don't know if it really is possible to start to make money in 2024 I see all the income reports and i'm like kind of jealous like it hasn't worked out for me but i'm like you know what this is the time we're gonna buckle down we're gonna really focus and we're gonna get it done i think the biggest challenge is finding good keywords like the keyword research is really important and i have purpose and you know like i can admit that i have not done um i have not mastered the art of keyword research so I think it's mostly a numbers game, getting really good, um, especially if you're in the low content space, you have to get really good at keyword research and then also really good at publishing a lot of books, right? So yeah, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to be, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to be um, hopeful and optimistic that it will work out. So yeah, that's it for me. I'll hear you in a week. Bye-bye.